Hi there guys, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to mine sky tier on Hive OS and Windows. Alright, so just before I jump in and talk and show you guys exactly how you can set yourself up to mine on SkyTier, let's go through and do a little bit of the summary and get a bit more of an understanding who and what SkyTier is all about. So SkyTier is an open source peer-to-peer -peer digital currency that enables instant near zero cost payments to anyone in the world. Decentralized supply control mechanism and some of the best features that they have is demand driven supply blockchain high stability and stable mining costs now they also are running on the ghost rider algorithm which is one of my favorite algorithms hence one of the reasons why i'm making the video today but if we actually do check over on mining pool stats we can actually see that uh, sky tier is there on the number 10 and it's been out for 14 days so that's not too long i mean if you also as well have a look over on the mining pools as well you can see that currently it's got a quite a large amount of miners on there's around about 2,000 of you guys currently mining on there at the moment so there's a fair of you jumped on there to mine this at the moment and it's showing a little bit of interest in the and all their social media groups are slowly starting to make some movement upwards as people are starting to take more interest and get involved so as you can see with their roadmap the timeline is so we're pretty much uh, around about the listing on exchanges and pools so you know coming up they've got promotions and listing on exchanges and development payment gateway for android and the ios wallet so before we jump in and get ourselves started we do need to grab ourselves a wallet so for today's video i'm going to show you guys two ways that you can grab yourself a wallet so that you can get yourself set up to mine now if you're going to mine this on hive os you're still going to need to either download a wallet on a windows pc or you will need to take yourself over to exeget i'll leave a link for you guys down in the description if you've not signed up already and you could use your deposit address here make sure to be careful when you send over any cryptocurrencies to any exchange changes in case you do lose your money but if that's fine with yourself take that risk that's on yourself right so for myself personally i'm going to set this up so i am going to go ahead and download this i'm going to open up my wallet where i have my files and this is where i save basically all my wallets i know there's a lot of people out there that say the best place to store these is using a virtual machine and going through that route totally fine totally agree you should definitely do that for sure so let's open this up. I'm going to take myself to the folder that I just created on my backup drive there. I'm going to drag and drop all those folders into there. And I'm going to run the QT there. Once you have run the QT, you can set a custom directory if you like or just use the default that's perfectly fine either way will work for yourself as i said i've already got myself a folder that i've created and i've got a backup file so i'm going to do that there i'm going to set that up just like that nice and simple and from here now we just need to just wait for a few seconds for it to load get itself to set itself up and then from here we will allow access i'm going to put my theme to dark i'm going to save that press hide on that for now while it's syncing itself up but i'm going to take myself over to the receive tab on the call wallet okay so i'm going to type a label in there i'm going to call this mining and i'm going to press on request payment accidentally made two on there but that's perfectly fine and i'm going to copy the address here so copy the address close this off and what we're going to need to do now to actually get ourselves set up is either pick ourselves a pool from the, from the pool list we've got here we've got a fair few uh, choices of pools now uh, in today's video i can see that uh, the current known hash rate for sky tier at the moment is 99.2 percent of the known hash rate is on our plant now it is normal common practice uh, you know for everybody to share the hash rate out across the pools across the board uh, instead of everybody being jumped all onto one pull that's not really good um, in the long run but uh, I am going to show you guys how to set this up on our plan also as well but like I said there's plenty of other pools that you can choose from on here okay so taking ourselves over on to the our plant pool what we're going to need to do from here is take ourselves over to the connect tab make sure you're on the correct one we're going to take the wallet address that we took from our wallet we're going to copy the address take that over and we are going to set ourselves up to mine so 
For today's video, we're going to be setting this up for CPU and for GPU mining. So to start this off, let's start with the XM rig. We'll go with Windows and we will take ourselves over to the nearest stratum. I'm going to put on there America, just because like I say, some of the other ports haven't been uh, working for myself. And then I'm going to pop in there Ryzen 7 as well. Now, all we're going to simply need to do is just copy the minor script from here. And then we're going to need to take that over to our XM rig. So if you haven't already got XM rig installed onto your computer, all you're going to need to do is jump yourself over onto their GitHub and take yourself down here. And we're going to need to pick which one do we need to pick on this list? It would be the Windows 64-bit version that would be there. May come up as a virus for yourself. Click on Keep Dangerous File. Keep Anywhere. Show in Folder. Open this up. Take ourselves back down to the desktop. Take this like this. And just going to call it a different folder just for the sake of this. And I'm going to drag and drop that inside. Open this up. Then what we're going to do in this folder here is we're going to take ourselves out and create a new text document. You don't need to name it at this point. Paste in what you copied to your clipboard before. Now press on save as. Put this as sky tier. Call this whatever you like really. Just make sure you put lowercase bat at the end to make this a runnable, executable file. Let's close this off. And if we now refresh... We should have this in here, but first things first, let's make ourselves, take ourselves over to the uh, XM rig, sorry about that, and also press on the run this as administrator apply, do that there. You would need to restart your PC one time once you're doing this, but just to get yourself everything running and get itself set up nice for yourself, this is the fastest and the most simple where to do this right so as you can see there we're now successfully mining on our cpu on windows but let's just jump back over and do the same process but with wild rig now i'm not going to download wild rig twice you've seen the process you can see that on the r plant pool there it does show you where the download link is and you can do that for yourself so if we take ourselves over to the config section and we just change that to multi change the name in there as well that will make it a little bit more easy for yourself copy the minor script close this down same process as with xm rig pretty much the same process with all crypto miners really is just create yourself a new text document paste in there the script press on save as call this sky tier and lowercase bat save as and close that off and if we see just here like i said i've already created one before but like i say it is the same one i think this is the most newest one so we'll run that one and there you can have it we're now successfully mining on our gpu on wild rig to sky tier so what i'm going to do now guys is i'm going to jump over to the hive os dashboard and show you guys how you can set up yourself over on there Okay, so here we are now on the HiveOS test rig. What we're going to need to do now to get ourselves set up to mine on SkyTier on HiveOS is we are going to need to add our wallet first so that we can actually set this up correctly. So for the coin ticker, we are just going to type in here Sky with a T like that. I'm going to press enter. We're going to take ourselves back over to our wallet and copy this like i said guys you can use the exeget uh, wallet if you need to like i said i'll leave a link for you down in the description if you haven't already signed up and once you've popped in skyte in the coin name throw in the wallet address that we took from our wallet that we created before as i said use the exeget if you need to name the wallet to anything of your choice then go ahead and press on create. Now from here, we're going to take ourselves over to the flight sheet tab. We're now going to type in the Skype. It should pop up there now because we created the wallet for that. And then we should click on the wallet that we just done before. We're going to 
click on the configure in minor for the pool and for this we're going to use wild rig multi then as well for this rig as well we do have an amd cpu in here so we are going to set this up as well to cpu mine on here so what i'm going to do is I'm going to go through this as well i'm going to put in the wallet configure in minor and like i said we do have two choices on here we could use either cpu minor opt or we could use xm rig new so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using cpu minor opt i think that would probably be the best one and for the wild rig multi let's get that set up so for the algorithm we're going to need ghost hash rider for I should say ghost rider for both of them for the templates okay we're going to be using wallet and worker name and for the pool address let's take ourselves over to the config that we created prior for the windows setup but like i said guys i will be leaving um the minor scripts down in the description as well so make sure to check out there as well so what i'll do is i'll paste in the url there that's the wrong one let's take ourselves back copy again and copy that that's fine Take ourselves over here, remove that, paste that into there. Nothing is needed for the password on there. That should be fine. And let's go and set up the CPU mine opt. So for the algorithm, as we mentioned before, this is going to be Ghost Rider. We're going to for the wallet template. Let's set that up exactly the same. Pool URL is going to be the same as well. And we do need to put in some config overrides over here so let's pop in the tune full and force tune and then also as well for the fork let's throw in there gr and we can just press apply from here from here let's name this sky tier press on the create flight sheet and if we take ourselves back over to our workers, like I said, this is the test bench and I'm currently trying to test up some new different things on here at the moment for VAS, which you may have seen on the previous video. If you haven't already checked that out, definitely look over onto the channel and check out that. But what we're going to need to do from here now is take ourselves back to the worker. And from there, we are going to click on the flight sheets. And for the new one that we've just created there, we're going to press on the rocket like you see up in the corner here. And we are now successfully mining on Sky Tier um, on our Hive OS, OS rigs right now, which is great. Like I say, this is just for the test bench at the moment. But like I say, let me know down in the comments, are you guys currently mining this right now? Like I say, I've, I can see here on Mining Pool stats that there's currently, you know, well, they, it did say 1,700 there for a second, but it has just dropped down to 1,463 miners. So like I say, that's quite a lot of people. That's a lot of rigs on there. And that's also quite a lot of hash rate as well on the Ghost Rider algorithm. Like I say, not all the cryptocurrencies that do jump onto the Ghost Rider algorithm, you know, end up, you know, doing too well um, but fingers crossed for sky tier and fingers crossed for everybody it just needs to be a, bit, a little bit more community support right okay guys so that is the end of the video you should now be successfully mining on to sky tier let me know down in the comment sections if this is something that you guys are currently mining at the moment and let me know what you guys are currently mining this on with right guys i'll see you in the next video peace